Hi, right, good morning. Okay, then. I guess someone didn't get enough sleep. Yo, what's with the attitude? Look, I don't know where all this frustration is coming from, but I think there are some more constructive ways to handle this. Okay, look, I'm not tolerating this kind of attitude. I'm out of here. All right, that's dropped in her locker. Let's hope she meets me at the location and we can hopefully squash this nonsense. This stuff is getting really, really old. Hi, thanks for coming. So the reason I requested for this meeting is... Hey, hey! Enough with the degrading statements, all right? You heard what I just said. Knock it off with that disrespect. This meeting ain't about no darn confession. It ain't no reason for me to make any type of love confession to someone like you with that kind of bogus attitude. Now, I want to know what the heck is your problem with me, and I want to know now. Oh, really? Well, let's think about this. Let's have a little review. For the past week, you've been severely negative towards me, and I'm literally at the point where I want to file a harassment claim with the school staff. This behavior is rude, it's immature, and it's obnoxious, and I will not tolerate any more of it. So now's the time to make a choice. You can either tell me what the heck is your problem with me, and we can resolve it peacefully, or you can tell it to the school staff. So what is the problem? Wait, hold up. What is there to think about? Did you think about all those degrading remarks you made to me ahead of time? And if so, that's even more premeditated. Or was it just in the heat of the moment or whatever the heck you want to call it? Regardless, you came up with that behavior quite fast. So what's the hang up now? You need time to figure out how to say what? You mean to say that if you can't say stuff that is negative, you have no other way to say it? Is your vocabulary nothing but offensive and degrading terms? Is that all your vocabulary is worth? What are you getting silent for now? What happened to all that boldness from earlier? Oh, now you're going to start to cry, huh? Wait a minute. I did not just hear no darn confession. I really did not just hear that. Hold up. Time out. You are meaning to tell me that all of these antics of rude and immature behavior toward me was because you liked me? Oh, so you didn't know how to say it. So instead of taking the time to really think about your speech, as well as your own actions, you made the choice to act in disrespect. Is this how people get together these days? Just by acting on pure impulse and stupidity? Plus, how in the flying red flags of common sense did you figure that engaging in disrespectful mannerisms would work to win the affection of someone you allegedly like? Did you ever put yourself in that scenario and look at it as if you were the non-prevailing party? Or do you just advocate behavior like that just because you are the prevailing party? Why would I want to get with someone like that? Why would I want to get with someone like that? Explain that to me. Why would anyone want to get with someone with that kind of stupidity? So tell you what, how about we flip the script on this and I insult you? Hey, idiot. What are you doing talking to me in the first place? It's not like we have anything in common or anything. Do you hear yourself when you talk to me rudely? Did your parents ever teach you any manners? You ought to be happy I'm even taking any time to even talk to you about this. And don't get the wrong idea. It's not like I care about you or anything. I mean, seriously, listen to how stupid that sounds. Seriously, do you hear this? Or did everything I'm saying just going through one ear and out the other? Why am I even wasting time with this conversation right now? Oh, look at that. She's really sobbing now. Well, this looks like a good chance to switch this up now that I've got her attention. Let's see where this goes. All right, so let's try this again. Why do you feel you have to act in aggressive mannerisms, especially to your crush at that? 
What is driving this? What's going on? Okay, so here's something I would ask for you to consider for yourself. If you're going to address me in a negative manner based on a previous experience with someone else, you are now passing judgment on me without any evidence to sustain your suspicion. And if you do suspect me of repeating what that other person did, why engage me at all? <sighs> there she goes, full blown tears. All right, look, let's do this. Here, take my handkerchief, dry your tears off. All right, look, I'll make a deal with you. If you can show me proper respect in all of your actions from this point forward, you may have a shot to be able to date me. So regain your composure, fix up your attitude. There's no need for all this negativity. You have enough of that in the world as it is, right? So really start thinking about what and how you say things before you say them. Can you do that? All right, so go ahead. Let's call it a day now. We'll try this again tomorrow. Hey, hey, you're doing it again. Mm. Everyone's staring at me. Figures word would get out regarding our discussion. With all these folks staring with death-threatening eyes, there's no doubt all of these people are pets. Well, that's not my problem. Can I help you all? Yeah, we talked. You're welcome. Why am I saying you're welcome? Because I did your job for you. And you three are supposed to be her friends. Wait, hold up. My actions were uncalled for? My actions were uncalled for. Only my actions were uncalled for. So it's okay for your friend to disrespect me for the past week. And when I call her out on that and offer her a chance to correct it, then and only then does that constitute as a form of disrespect on me? Do you hear yourselves when you talk? Or are you part of that generation that defends your friends regardless if they're right or wrong? Do you realize how stupid that is? Seriously, folks, come on. This is why there's so much chaos today. If you all are real friends, tell each other the circumstances as they are. Not what you want the cause to be. Oh, look at this. Now they're backing off. Great. Now the boys want their shot. Guys, get away from me, okay? Just get away from me. If you don't have the spine to stand up for what's right, ask yourself if you really are mature. Or are you so much of a slave to your own fear and your own ego at that? So with that, leave my desk. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Great. Looks like she just saw everything. She looks totally embarrassed. Oh, she brought it on herself for telling everybody. You don't tell everybody your business. We'll talk after school. Class is about to start. <laughs>